Hello, kind students. I'm so excited to be here with you today to continue our topic on kindness. We're speaking about kindness for the whole week, and I'm excited that I'm able to share this with you. So today, I have a really great book to share with you. It's called We're All Wonders, and it's about a real life story of a young boy called Augie Pullman. So you might have read the book for the older grades and for the younger grades, this is kind of the book that we like to read to you, okay? So let's get started with reading this. I'm gonna read it via a YouTube one because I think it's a little better for us to see the illustrations, which are the pictures. So I'm gonna share my screen with you. Perfect, and we're gonna get to the story. We're all wonders. I know, I'm not an ordinary kid. Sure, I do ordinary things. I ride a bike, I eat ice cream, I play ball. I just don't look ordinary. I don't look like other kids. My mom says I'm unique. She says I'm a wonder. My dog Daisy agrees. Some people don't see that I'm a wonder. All they see is how different I look. Sometimes they stare at me. They point or laugh. They even say mean things behind my back. But I can hear them. I must make him feel sad. It hurts my feelings. It hurts Daisy's feelings too. I understand. When that happens, I put on my helmet. I put on Daisy's helmet too. And then we blast off, up, 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 up through the clouds, across the galaxy, all the way to Pluto. We say hello to old friends. From far away, the earth looks so small. I can't see any people, but I know they're there. Billions of people, people of all different colors, people who walk and talk differently, people who look different like me. The earth is big enough for all kinds of people. I know I can't change the way I look, but maybe, just maybe, people can change the way they see. If they do, they'll see that I'm a wonder and they'll see that you're wonders too. We're all wonders. Look with kindness and you will always find wonder. That is such a beautiful, beautiful book to me. I love it. And it really wants you to really explore kindness and know that spreading kindness is amazing and being super kind to other people, regardless of the way they look or maybe the way they talk or the way they dress. Really kindness is contagious. And what that means is when you spread kindness, not only does it make you feel better, but it makes other people feel be better as well. I wanna share with you, we're spreading kindness, right? So I wanted to share with you again, our flyer that we went over yesterday and Monday, but for today, the challenge is to put a positive note somewhere around the house to surprise a loved one with a sweet message. So whether you draw a picture or you write some kind words on a note, put it somewhere. So maybe mommy, daddy, or grandma, or grandpa can see it, okay? And I also want to share with you, if I can get it up here. Let's see. That in your Google Classroom, I placed some really cool stuff on here. So I placed a read-along, and I also placed a um, sprinkle kindness assignment. So if you click right here, you'll be able to click on the link to hear the story we just read. And you can also go right over here and there's this cool little donut that pops up and you get to sprinkle kindness. So if you click in here, you can type in different ways to be kind. And if you click right here, you can answer the question, share about a time you sprinkled kindness. You could have mommy or daddy help you or maybe a bigger brother but it's just a fun way to kind of be engaged. You won't be graded on it, but it may be something fun to do. Have an amazing day.